Welcome to the Aloe Yoga Beverly Hills flagship store. My name is Andrew Seeley here to guide you through a how-to on triangle pose. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and comment below. Welcome to this how-to on triangle pose, aka Trikonasana, in Sanskrit of course. All you'll need is a block. Go ahead and take yourself a wide stance. You'll set your block behind your left foot. So I'm taking a wide stance on the mat first. And as you can see, a triangle has three points. One point is my hips, the other two are my feet. I'm going to bring the feet to a width of my wrists. So I want my wrists to be directly over my ankles. As I flex into the feet, the back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. I engage my foot and I lift the inner arch of my foot. Therefore, the whole leg is engaged. Quadriceps are engaged, the tailbone tucks, my abdominals lift as I extend into my fingertips. I allow my heart to lift. As I place my gaze towards the front of my mat, I then allow my left foot to go towards the front of my mat. So I like to keep a little heel to arch alignment, meaning the line from my heel can go to the arch of my back foot. That way the hips can open and it allows you to really reach forward, lengthening here as you find this crease of your psoas. Engaging the quadricep, I find more length, reaching forward, breathing forward, lengthening forward, and then we'll go ahead and rotate the arms. Some people like to rest their hand on the shin. It could be a lot for the knee and could also engage a little hyperextension of the joint. So I find that a block is the best way to find full engagement here. As you lift the chest, think of finding a baby back bend in your upper heart. I'll go ahead and show this on the other side so you can see the thoracic spine as I open up, lengthen up, finding length through my right rib cage, reaching up, breathing up, lengthening up. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, I'll bring both hands down to the ground, pivoting onto the ball of my back foot. Nice. Just coming into pyramid pose, and I'll go ahead and switch. Whoosh, whoosh. Stepping the right foot forward, same thing. I'm gonna press into my right foot, extending the hamstring, then pivot onto the back foot, engaging the inside, the inseam of the foot so that the arch lifts as the outside presses into the mat. I'll take a deep inhale here. And this is another way to get into your triangle pose. So from the ground up, we're building our foundation here, which is the feet, engaging the quadriceps, feeling the chest lift up off of the leg. Again, we can use this block here on the lower setting. Or if you'd like to see it without the block, I'm gonna use my fingertips. My abdominals are doing the work here as I lift my torso up towards the sky, lengthening into the full extent of the pose, looking towards my left thumb. Drawing the shoulder blades onto the back body, I find more openness here. Utilize the breath to sustain the posture. Engage your quadricep, press into your foot. Allow the toes to move. Nice deep inhale brings me back up. Awesome. Feet come together, and you can hop back to your feet. Thanks for joining me here for this how-to on triangle pose. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to check out more videos like this.